Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, I'm going to take you guys 250 miles above planet Earth. I've received some incredible video footage of fascinating observations made from the International Space Station. You'll definitely want to stick around for this footage. Some very cool stuff. Also have a video I want to share with you guys and I'll give you a heads up before I do because it could get quite loud in your device, whether you have on headphones or a laptop, or if you're using some sort of a tablet, you might want to adjust your volume whenever I come back to this extreme hailstorm. The, the hail in this video was large and it was loud. Also received some video footage from Barbie and Dave out of Branford, Connecticut. Slow-mo lightning above Branford. There's one video sent in by Barbie and Dave, and here's yet another video of the lightning making contact with the ground right there above Branford, Connecticut. Thanks for the video footage, guys. Greatly appreciate that. Coming over here to the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by Eric out of Cave Creek, Arizona, who also sent in a photo with lightning in the photo, orange in the background, a fiery orange in the background, dark gray and light blues up in the sky, and then lightning right in the middle. Really cool photo, once again, by, by Eric out of Cave Creek, Arizona. Quick look at the Schumann Resonance. All in all, pretty quiet. No major spikes in the last 72 hours. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, you see a pattern here. Most of the seismographs on the west side of the Supervolcano Caldera are showing signs of earthquake activity. All of these red vertical lines indicate small earthquakes quakes, albeit small, but nevertheless, those are earthquakes at a supervolcano, something we keep a very close eye on. Coming over here to poweroutage.us, looking at the power outage situation, Hurricane Ian making landfall in southwest Florida. At one time, there were over 2 million customers without electricity. Now the total number is down to 267,000. They are doing an incredible job getting the power back on in Florida. Puerto Rico, who also saw well over a million customers, in fact, the entire island Island was without electricity following the landfall of Hurricane Fiona. They are now less than 100,000 down to 93,174 customers without electricity in Puerto Rico. Coming over here to Lake Mead, yet another day of positive change. The water content at Lake Mead continues to go up over 14 days in a row of positive change when the outflow is much smaller than the inflow, creating a positive change not only at Lake Mead, but also at Lake Powell. So this makes now four days in a row at Lake Powell that the outflow is less than the inflow by almost a factor of two, creating a positive change at Lake Powell. So both of these huge, very important reservoirs are seeing a much needed increase. All right, this next segment, you might want to adjust the volume on your headset, on your laptop, on whatever device you may be using. This video is of extreme heat that was sent in by Andre and it gets kind of loud so I'll give you a couple more seconds to adjust your volume or your or your headsets and here we go extreme hail sent in by Andre Just an incredible scene, and I'm waiting to hear back from Andre on the exact location of that major hailstorm. A little while later, they were driving down the highway, and you can see the, the hail piled up along the side of the road, not only on the side of the road, but in the road. Almost looks like it snowed, and there were people out on motorcycles in this extreme weather event, and you can tell that they weren't prepared for this. This just kind of came out of nowhere. Otherwise, they would not have been out on motorcycles on this freeway. 
So extreme hailstorm. Video footage sent in by Andre. And again, I'm waiting to hear back on the exact location. That was from October the 4th of 2022. I want to take you guys now up to the International Space Station. I received several videos from various people. Some of the videos were sent in by Mary Hall. She's always seen some amazing things from the International Space Station live cam. Here's looking down from above the Earth at lightning as it's crawling through the, the very tall cloud tops. Not sure of the location there. That was lightning during the daytime. Here's more lightning visible from the International Space Station at nighttime on the dark side of the Earth. The other lightning was obviously on the daylight side of the Earth. This lightning here was above northern Australia on September 24th of 2022. Always looks super cool from the International Space Station. Here's an object over here on the right. You're going to see it almost accelerate. This was near Alaska. See it moving here and watch it take off. It gained speed right there. Something very strange moving on its own above Alaska. She also noticed, and all these video observations were made by Mary Hall, she noticed what looked like a meteor over here. I mean, if you blinked, I don't know how she saw it. If you blink, you would have missed it. That's why she had to put it on pause here so we could all see it. That was a streak of random light above Bermuda in the Atlantic Ocean, and don't know for sure, but it looks like a meteor trail in the sky and these are strange surface features not sure of the location but she also sent in this still image of something strange they they don't necessarily look like just random mountains or or just surface features they look like they're of intelligent design almost of some sort of intelligent design don't know what those were next video footage was noticed by joe from spokane washington from the international space station on september the 12th of 2022 when the space station was above of Egypt. Here goes the object right here coming up from the bottom. The space station is moving from left to right. This object was moving from south to north across the field of view totally on its own. It wasn't part of the space station. That was some sort of a random object. That's a light up there on the surface of the Earth. This is something in the atmosphere above planet Earth. And this next segment was noticed by two different people on the same day. Heidi took this still image of something here above the horizon as the, the space station was on the daylight side of the Earth. She noticed this here off in the distance. James also noticed the same thing on the same day. This was September the 9th of 2022. James sent in this video and you're going to see that same light over here kind of wrap around what looks like a circle over here or a sphere. This is the original speed. You're going to see the light being manipulated by something over here in the distance. You're going to see the light on both sides here over here on the left and over here on the right go up and meet each other up here on the top like it's wrapping around an invisible round object over there. Maybe something that's, that's shaped like a sphere. This is the original speed when I put it in fast forward, you'll be able to see it more clear. Here we go, ultra fast forward. You're going to see the light go up and wrap around something right there. See it? It's almost like it's being influenced by something round over there in the distance that's not necessarily visible by this camera, but you can see the light wrapping around it. Some sort of mysterious activity. That's probably the best way to describe this, way off in the distance. Don't know how else to describe it other than mysterious light picked up by the International Space Station. Just happened to be noticed by two different people down here on Earth from two different locations that were watching the live feed at the same time time and this next segment we're calling it a ghost ship and you'll see why here in just a second video footage sent in by Joe from Spokane Washington once again from the International Space Station right around 24 hours old he noticed this on October the 4th of 2022 as the space station was above Peru it was out here over the Pacific Ocean just below the equator it was not over land and you're going to see something over here that's shaped like a ship you'll see it's got wings. It's got a, a nose to it right here. You're seeing the front part of the, the object, whatever it may be. It almost looks translucent. doesn't appear to be anything on the ground because as you're going to see, the space station is above water. So here's the object that's got wings, or at least it looks like it's got wings there. This is a cylinder down the middle. Here goes the object right here, and the space station is right here. It's off the coast of South America, out here above the ocean. If that were a collection of ships, there would be 
hundreds and hundreds of ships right out in here. So I don't think it's ships. In fact, they're not blinking. The, the lights aren't twinkling or anything like that. This looks like something or the, the shadow of something up in space. Don't ask me how that could occur because I don't know. But there's definitely something being picked up by this camera that's very mysterious. That was an original speed. Coming up next here, I enhance the same video footage that shows this object or what appears to be an object. And you can see here, it looks like it's moving through space or moving through the sky, has wings, and has a, a distinctive shape about it. Kind of looks like it may be of intelligent origins. I mean, it's not just some random collection of lights. It almost has like a, a distinctive shape to it. You can see right here, I attempted to put lines around the lights where they started and stopped. And you can see the, the shape start to develop there. Once again, this was noticed by Joe out of Spokane, Washington. Some sort of what looks like semi-transparent lights or some sort of a weird reflection picked up by the International Space Station as the space station, once again, was out over the ocean off the coast of South America. Great job, guys. Keep the photos and videos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you have any videos you'd like to share that won't attach to the email for whatever reason, you can come over here to the homepage of the website, look for this red tab that says have a large video, simply drag and drop your video into that red tab. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching, have a super day, and be safe out there.